So yeah, really have a look at absolutely everything. So in our hotel, we actually used um, uh, uh, what are they called scaffolding boards, and we use those for nearly everything. So one, they were cheap, they were hugely durable, and they look fantastic. So we actually made these enormous um, headboards. So again, this is another point I'm going to come to later is to make things really um, multiple uses as well. But yeah, we used all these different um, materials to keep things, uh, you know, really, really at a, at a good cost. And also we looked at uh, with your your sort of design and what you're going to use. There are actually a lot of like end of use so all of our doors actually all of our bathroom doors they were coming to the end of the cycle they weren't going to be used anymore um, and it just so happened that there was enough for us to use them in all of our bathrooms so that's another way not only being sustainable but also saving a bit of money as well let's be fair in any development is where we want to be um, so yeah so that's good so then having a look and thinking about uh, con conserving water So let's think about that. So obviously, if you can do any kind of, you can sometimes get sheds that have specific um, reduction in the the flow, but it's still a, a great shower. We do we do not want to make a really trickle, tiny trickle coming out. Um, but you know, if you, you can also get special taps that don't have drips, you know, they don't allow drips, and these are not expensive things to help out. Um, also, if you're installing new loos, you know, things like dual flush, any way of sort of controlling what might go out is <coughs> is really important. And then if you've got a garden, as I mentioned earlier, you might have a water bowser which collects water, which can be used to, you know, water plants. Um, and yeah, to do, to do those kind of things, I think is really key. And it, it may be that you use that water to wash the patio or I don't know, you'll, you'll be really creative. <laughs> wash your car I wouldn't wash your car get your kids to do that that's a much better idea um so yeah you can look at all of those kind of things um and then also when you are looking at furnishing these places so especially with your rent to rent essay you're not necessarily going to be able to change um the you know, the loo, you're not necessarily going to be able to change the entire heating system, you know, you are what you you get. But that's where things like Nest and all of those kind of things come in. But also ensuring that you use LED lights, um, that you really look around the place and think, well, how? what can I do? Can you ensure that, you know, you have... I don't know, really re, uh, using sort of bamboo um, chopping boards that, that are also really healthy as far as um, uh, uh, what you call it, like antibacterial. They're really, really good. Um, and it's looking at all those different things. Can you perhaps use um, secondhand furniture? Now, obviously, please be very, very careful. You must check the fire safety on those. And in fact, there are some companies that will make secondhand furniture far safety far safe but of course again you want to be checking out on your costs as well you are a business you do need to make money but all of these things are really really interesting um you could be looking at you might do some painting you might want to use non-toxic paints but at the same time you might want to be using really really durable um, paints maybe pay a little bit more so that you only have to update and and you know uh, renew the pain less frequently. Um, so you're using less uh, resources, so to speak. So that's a, a really, really great idea. Um, and I think re being really durable. So I'm not a fan at all. I know this is a bit, you know, lots of people use um, uh, wallpaper, which is great. Um, and, I, and I think that can be fine. For me personally, I'm not a fan. I think you can do a lot with paint. And at least if you've got paint, you can touch it up. So I think that works um, for me personally, that works really, really well. But as soon as you've got a notch in a bit of wallpaper, that can be um, not look that great. Um, but on top of that, you can actually get these incredible. And we did look at it for our hotel. You can get these like non rip uh, wallpaper. So again, that could be an option. I think they understand that they are quite a bit more expensive. So again, you want to be working out um, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. 
Um, and then as far as your furniture goes, um, I think it's really key to think about how many um, how many activities can a piece of furniture do? So, for instance, if you can have it having multiple uses, you can really have an impact on everything that you are using. So I always kind of think, well, do I really need that? Is that really important? Or what else can I use with that? So, for instance, with a sofa in my very first um, essay units, I had this big sofa. So one thing, it was a sofa. Obviously, people sat their bums on it. That was great. Two, it was actually really sizable and it was a statement piece. So when you walked into the living room, it was like, wow, you know, this looks really welcoming. It's, you know, it's not just a piddly little sofa in the corner. It looks really comfortable. I really, really like that. Then on top of that, it wasn't just a sofa. It was a sofa bed. Um, and even more than that, uh, it was modular. So you could actually have a king bed or you could have two singles with one single model module in between. So you could have it as two singles and you could have it as, um, as a king. Then on top of that, every single, and this was an Ikea one, by the way, they don't do it anymore. Um, every single element of this sofa could be replaced. So um, I had a spare set of covers for it. So we did have one particular occasion where I don't know what somebody did, but it really kind of stained. It, it actually like dyed it. <laughs> um, and it was so easy rather than replacing the entire sofa or having a really rubbish looking sofa for a while. I literally just changed one um, one cover. I think it was like 15 quid, 20 quid. I don't know. I can't remember, but not a lot of money, not the equivalent of a sofa, which is a massive cost to you, isn't it? So that was incredibly useful. Um, and then what else with that sofa? So, yeah, so the, as you can see that. Oh, and then the final thing was um, it also had storage inside the sofa. So it was just this one thing that had multiple, multiple uses. So I didn't have to buy, you know, another thing to store things in and another thing to do this and this and this. It was just looking at what I can do to multi-use. And I'm not a fan of um, wardrobes because I think they're just absolute dust catches. <laughs> but um, I did when I very first started out, I used it rather than buying a mirror, I bought a wardrobe where one of the doors was a mirror. So again, it was kind of multifunctional having all of these things. Um, and then things like um, a desk, it was kind of, uh, what is it? What materials am I using? So what can we use that can be recycled? So initially I used to use, as I say, love a bit of scaffolding board me. Um, so using scaffolding boards and you can just buy those wire legs. And again, really simple, not very expensive. Um, you can literally make it yourself if you're a bit handy um, and you, you will obviously want to sand things down and make sure that they're safe and everything like that but that is pretty handy so always be looking at all these different things and then when you're looking at your what you have in the drawers in the cupboards you know please I just think it's really lazy to have anything plastic nowadays there's just no need for it um I you know there's especially now bamboo is so reasonable you know so even things like where you store your knives and forks you know get a bamboo um holder and then think about it. Well, what is what am I providing for everyone? And I would highly advise you to give them enough, but not too much. Um, I know I went to a <laughs> holiday let before Christmas. It must have been their house. I mean, they literally had everything. Um, I, you know, there was like a whisk and oh, gosh, they literally had everything, which was great. But it was too much and it made me twitch because there was just too much cleaning. The pool cleaner must have taken them about 20 hours to clean it. So really think about all the things that you've got in there. Um, I, As again, I'm a huge fan of uh, wooden or, um, or bamboo chopping boards. Some people don't like that. They think they're not hygienic, but I think the, the bamboo are. And then just look through everything. I don't give any cellophane. <laughs> I might give them um, foil, but what I do do is I have um, oven to table, uh, you know, cookware. Uh, so again, it's it's just more of a single use. So it's you know what I mean. It so it looks quite nice. 
the the um, the items that you cook in and you can just put it straight to the table. I also IKEA do these really fantastic kind of glass um, bowls and then they have a bamboo top to them. So rather than wanting to always get cellophane out, they can literally put their used food into that and put the the um, the bamboo lid on top and then you don't have any kind of those single uses. Um, and then I always encourage um, you know, using really good kind of cleaning products. So I leave our washing up liquid is an eco washing up liquid. Um, so and some people actually you can get quite differing eco washing up liquids. Some of them are like water. So I have had people saying, oh, you've just given me water. I clearly didn't. So just be really aware of which one you use and whether it seems like a normal one. Um, so that's pretty important. And then also I always leave one or two dishwasher tablets and one or two washing machine tablets, because obviously if you arrive, you haven't necessarily bought those things with you. But I'm not necessarily going to provide them with, you know, two weeks worth of, of those kind of things. And those I always use are really eco as well. So you may want to think of, you know, uh, I'm going to talk about this later, but, uh, you know, any eco tabs or anything like that. Um, and also reducing packaging um, is really key with that. 